This is an update on tra uh, Hurricane Lane, uh, Tropical Storm Christie, and Tropical Storm Lane, as well as a storm update. We've had a very active weather pattern developing in the Northeast United States, as well as the rest of the East and Southeast United States. So let's get right into it here. We've got Hurricane Nadine here. Hurricane Nadine is uh, pushing off to the Northeast here, and it's got 80 mile per hour winds. Pressure is remaining quite uh, low, um, so it's going to continue off towards the northeast, but it will affect the Azores now. It's probably a strong tropical storm. So the Azores should be getting ready for this in the next, say, two days here. This system is going to pick up speed. It's heading due east right now and will continue to do so until it starts to get picked up by this trough out in the upper part of the Atlantic Ocean here and be picked up off towards the Azores and eventually Portugal and Spain. Now let's take a look at the systems that are down here. Uh, in the eastern Pacific we got Christie that is paralleling the coast and it's weakening in uh, cooler waters here and its moisture will be drawn up into the desert southwest like California, Arizona, New Mexico and uh, we got Lane down here and Lane is not going to be of uh, impact to anybody in fact it's just going to continue to head west and until eventually it heads into cooler waters of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, now let's take a look at the uh, national view here. National view, we've got that cold front that moved off the coast yesterday, the east coast, and we've got a developing area of low pressure trough over Texas, uh, over towards uh, Arkansas and Louisiana. And this system is going to ride up um, at northeast and the two jet streams are going to come together. We're going to have the northern branch and the southern stream branch. The northern branch, we can already see it coming into the northern Dakotas here, and southeastern Canada, these two are going to meet up um, and produce a low pressure system. Um, you can see here in the northwest here, we've got a drought going on. Uh, there's not much moisture to speak of here, and uh, down and through uh, the Rocky Mountains, things are pretty, looking pretty good, but most of the rain is in Texas here, uh, where we have had days of heavy rain. But uh, South Florida here, we've got some clouds, some tropical showers. Um, the East Coast, we have a little bit of cloudiness here in the uh, mid-Atlantic. Um, if we take a look at the surface wind gusts, because these are going to be a big proponent of the forecast coming into Tuesday here especially for the northeast and mid-Atlantic states. We've got some wind gusts already being reported in the northern states here. Um, winds also being reported. Also, if we look at the overlay, the, the weather uh, hazards, we've got uh, rain uh, observations and some haze here in the upper Midwest. That's going to be coming down south uh, as the clouds um, come together. And we have strengthening low pressure, which will move up the east coast along with a cold front coming down in from the west and upper level low. So let's get right to it. Um, I'm going to show you the precipitation model. This is a precipitation model, the GFS. Um, we're showing that uh, if we take a look at the loop, there's going to be a lot of rain with this. And this is going to head from the southeast states. And as you can see, it's going to slowly work its way up um, across the Appalachian Mountains. It's going to follow the spine of the Appalachians up. Um, and once it hits New York and Pennsylvania here and on up into southern Canada, it's really going to explode. We're going to have a stripe, and we're not exactly sure just how far east or west that's going to be, but right now over western New York, western Pennsylvania, central southern tier of New York, down through central PA, uh, Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia, these areas here could get a lot of rain, two to four inches, uh, possibly locally higher amounts. Now, um, for the most part, this is only going to be a small streams and creeks problem in poor drainage areas. Most of the larger stem rivers shouldn't experience any problems with this uh, whatsoever. Now, here's another hazard that we have to look out for. And this could be particularly uh, from late morning Tuesday on into uh, early evening Tuesday. And that's the damaging wind threat. Um, if we take a look at the model here, we've got... Uh, wind that is going to develop. You can see it's already developing across the upper Midwest, but this is going to move slowly and then eventually, but once it gets Tuesday, 
with that trailing cold front and that low pressure moving out, uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, jet stream action. You're going to have a couple uh, jet streaks here and some upper level divergence here. And this is going to uh, uh, 60 knot uh, jet stream here. And some of these winds could be brought down to the surface, uh, especially in the nine, 850 to 950 millibar level. Uh, there's going to be 60 knot winds. Any heavier uh, shower that develops, it could bring those winds down to the surface. And that's what we're looking at. You look at a general 20 to 40 mile per hour wind gust event across New York, Pennsylvania, south into the mid-Atlantic. And then this system, as it heads northeast, you can see uh, by the time about noon to uh, 8 p.m. on Tuesday, we actually see some of these fuchsia colors here. That's where 50, 60 mile per hour winds could very well make it down to the surface, especially in central New York and central Pennsylvania here, and then on northeast up into the northeast. So that could be a problem, especially with a lot of heavy rain, which weakens trees, weakens roots of trees, and we could have some toppling going on. So that's it for now. Um, if you live in the Northeast, the Mid-Atlantic States, you're going to have a very rainy and very windy Tuesday. I'll have another update on that uh, in the coming days here. I'm meteorologist Mark Mulner for Meteomark.com. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Oh, and to the right, like us on Facebook or subscribe to the Facebook news feed.